raucous applause and smiles welcomed incoming President Guillermo Lasso. But the pomp and pageantry couldn't camouflage the titanic challenges Ecuador's new leader is inheriting, along with the presidential sash. <laughs> Among them, Ecuador's highest ever unemployment rate, its worst ever economic crisis, its highest foreign debt, shocking infant and child malnutrition rates, and arguably the worst management of the COVID-19 pandemic in all of Latin America. Lasso, a conservative, says his predecessors are to blame for this calamitous state of affairs. Why do we live in a country with rich land but poor citizens? Why do we have vast natural resources but live with shortages? Having such fertile land, why does it not produce abundance for those who most need it? The answer is one, that our leaders have failed us. Arguing that there could be no economic growth until the pandemic is reined in, the former banker promises to vaccinate 9 million Ecuadorans in the first 100 days of his administration. But implementing his free market agenda, which includes numerous free trade agreements and unpopular loan repayments to the IMF, could unleash a new wave of social unrest. The elimination of fuel subsidies 20 months ago nearly brought down his predecessor's government. We're also talking about concessions to foreign oil companies, tax reforms and privatization of the Pacific Bank, which I think should not be sold because there is a grotesque conflict of interest with the president and his son, who heads the Private Bankers Association. Lasso knows his reforms won't be easy to pull off because he doesn't have a majority in Congress. He nonetheless received thunderous applause when he said that the era of unbridled corruption, authoritarianism and political persecution in Ecuador was over. This means doing the unimaginable. Let's make history. Let's dare to change. Inspiring words, as is so often the case in an inauguration speech. Ecuadorans will be watching carefully to see if their new president means what he says and does what he promises. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.